Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about one, uh, one very important transaction, stats. Okay, this is the transaction code that is used and uh, here you can filter which are the ones that are taking a lot of time. So here you can see the server response time. So I have just selected 10,000. You can give CPU time, you can put database time uh, and here you can select by user ID and all those things. And when you execute, you get all this information. And if you want further information, you can just double click on it. What what is this person was doing and all those things? You can it will take you to all the details, what he was doing, why it took so much time. And it's really very important because in that way you can improve the performance. And one of the very important reason you're moving, one of the many reasons you're moving to S4 HANA is you have a lightning speed performance, right? So that's why it's very important. So again, the transaction code is stats. Here you can put start date, end date. You can do, do based on this parameter and this is very, very important. Uh, so here you can have different KPIs. So you can have main KPIs. So if I select DB KPIs, it will give me different KPIs. You can out download this to the front end okay and here you can save it to the statistics so you have different flows uh so display layout so sorted by transaction data transfer kpis memory consumption kpi so here you can see the different kpis it comes differently now if i select the main kpi sorted by uh, transaction id it will be sorted by the transaction id so these are different versions and this is their stats very important and uh, hope you will be using it and here you have um, rfc wait time i don't know what this is probably you can uh, check when when there is a big load you can adjust the rfc wait time so here you can select a maximum rfc wait time is this percent and all those things you can change it okay so this is very important very simple the uh, transaction code is stats s-t-a-t-s and i'll mention it in the video that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day